Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to our beloved lecturer Dr. Cikmah binti Tambici. My name is Abdul Hakim bin Abdul Jalil from HM2523A1. Today, me and my team from group 4 will be presenting about our topic which is food coloring. Hi and Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Daniel bin Abdul Malik. And my number my three is 2022-755-275. First of all, I would like to ask for a permission to wear a mask because I have just been involved in an accident and I was injured quite uh, badly on my face. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings to Dr. Cikmah. Um, I am Nurin Shahira Bitsan and Arifin and my metric number is 2022-779-729. Okay, and I will be part of this group for team members and I will be the last presenter. First and foremost, what is the definition of food and why we need food in our life? Food is a material that is mostly made up of nutrients such as protein, carbohydrates and fat and it is utilized by organisms to fuel their development and important operation. Digestion makes it easier to absorb and use the food it consumes, which is essential for nutrient. Any pigment, chemical or dye that gives the food or beverages colors when added is referred to as color addictive or commonly called as food coloring. They can be discovered in wide range of form, including liquids, powder, gels, and paste. Apart from that, both commercial and home cookery employ use food coloring. Food colorants are also used in variety of non-food products such as cosmetic and medical equipment. Food may contain color addictive for variety type of reason such as to improve appearance, flavor, attractiveness and educational value of food offset color fading brought on by exposure to air, moisture, intense heat and also light. Alright, now I want to explain about advantage of food coloring. The food coloring that we frequently notice in a range of meals could be from natural sources or even artificial coloring. The first advantage uh, of food coloring is natural artificial colors are uh, completely extract or processed from organic materials including fruits, tubers and vegetables. Natural colorings have been shown to increase some dishes nutritional value in addition to giving them a more appetizing appearance. Additionally, certain minerals and vitamins with antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer and other health advantage for disorders, including diabetes and digestive problems are present in extract from organic foods. Instead of using uh, synthetic colors, they can readily extract natural ones for wonderful use Pandan, for example, can be utilized to create green, which is uh, then used to color cakes and various beverages. Uh, next uh, is uh, the, the nice things about natural color is that it has a lower risk of cardiovascular or pancreatic disease development. Although the health consequence of Natural colors uh, have to be well investigated. They are to, uh, to be safe and helpful for a long term use, such as a purple sweet potato infusion. Alright, now I want to explain about uh, this advantage of food color. In order to increase color and bring attention of manufacture food and beverage, Food coloring is often controlled and under supervision. Add color to soft drinks, sport drinks and baking ingredients for instance. One of the disadvantages of food coloring is uh, the drawbacks 
with food coloring can increase the rate of inflammation and disrupt the immune system. Normal operation. And the ratio of white blood cells to red blood cells in our bodies may increase as a result uh, of colorants and food product dyes. Other than that, it contains hazardous and cancer-causing contaminants. Lastly, food dyes can also contribute to hypersensitivity. Uh, the kind of response to that uh, is immediately clear, especially when it comes to children age range. The phrase hypersensitivity describes a heightened response that the immune system had after coming into touch with an antigen. Okay, so the, ne uh, the next point is um, that we want to present on is the differences between natural and artificial food coloring. Okay, so food coloring or in other term, artificial color, and uh, that literally means a color which is used to artificially add color to a food that has been produced. So there are obviously some differences between a naturally made color and and artificial food coloring when they are, when there are some advantages and disadvantages of something so um for this point i want to highlight on few aspects which are the origin the health aspect and also the chemical structure okay so the um i want to hop on the main origin main difference which is the origin so natural food coloring is obtained from plants fruits and other natural sources uh, meanwhile, artificial food coloring is produced from chemical synthesis. Okay, so next, a color is deemed naturally uh, if uh, if it is from uh, the origin from veg vegetal, microbiological, animal, or minim min um, or mineral. So, um, if it is artificial, the colors were created in labs, and sometimes it happens accidentally by chemists. So, in terms of health, natural food coloring is obviously safe to eat and it can be used over artificial food coloring and to avoid eating to uh, to avoid eating too much processed food. So, natural food coloring has been used for centuries to color foods. So, for example, some of those are carotenoids, chlorophyll, and those yanin and turmeric. The consumption of artificial colors and the sodium benzoate a preservative could result in increased hyperactivity. So, and consuming artificial coloring based on food could interfere with the dig digestive enzymes that the body is produced to help properly break down the food that has been eaten. So, natural food coloring is safer to be eaten rather than consuming fake or artificial food coloring. Um, so to conclude the health aspect so in addition the difference could obviously be proof in the chemical structure of both natural and artificial food coloring food coloring molecules are organic compounds that have at least one chromophore and a conjugated system uh, which is a structure with alternating double and single bonds between the atoms so for artificial food coloring because it is produced from chemical synthesis it might have some people who are allergic to those chemicals that they use to produce the artificial color and last but not least the difference is related to cost um, the cost is uh, the cost in producing natural color food coloring coloring might be higher and kind of pricier since the process and equipment are kind of expensive and the process is kind of long um, it takes a um, lot of duration and complicated uh, so as for artificial food coloring it might be cheaper than producing natural food coloring because it uses chemical and it quickly transforms to the color that we want and we wish for next one is why artificial food coloring is dangerous the use of artificial food coloring is very controversial and some research, some research indicates possible danger. For more than 35 years, researchers have been studying the impact of artificial food colors among children and old people. The reason for this circumstance is that these two 
category are an easy target to be diagnosed to chronic disease. According to Food and Drug Administration Food Advisory or FDA, the amount of food coloring and food dyes that are certificate are allowed to use with an amount of 12 mg per capita for per day in 1995. However, by the year of 2007, the amount of food coloring has increased and allowed to be used for capita for day is 59 mg. This food coloring is easy to obtain. It can be commonly found in many foods such as fast food, junk food and other which can be easily attract kids to buy them thus it exposes them to these harmful food colors. Furthermore, numerous studies have been conducted and found that artificial food coloring and food dye may contribute to some changes, particularly in children with behavioral issues. Attention Deficit or Hyperactive Disorder ADHD, is one of the mental health problems that can be caused by this artificial food coloring. Apart from that, in animal research, certain artificial food coloring such as red tree have been linked to possible cardiocinogenic consequences. Artificial food coloring can occasionally include impurities or chemicals that might be harmful to our health. For instance, during the production process, they could get polluted with heavy metal or other harmful compounds. That's all for me. Thank you. So, to conclude all of the points that have has been stated, um, food colouring is obviously safer when it is natural which comes from natural basis such as plants. So artificial food coloring is needed because there are also both advantages and disadvantages of food coloring. Uh, so in uh, indeed artificial food coloring is to enhance food colors in order to attract people since before we eat, we eat using our eyes first. So when it comes to food, the presentation by the plating technique and the colors attracts people first. So um, however, it is safer for us to normalize consuming more natural food and this by this um, uh, natural food coloring based on um, based on foods rather than eating too many foods that have a bunch of artificial food coloring in it because um, and that's how we usually say that uh, it is safer and better and it uh, it took less cost cost to cook our own food uh, our own food from home because people usually prefer and advise people to do it from the home because we know what we put in the food and we know how we want to eat it by uh, is it we want a spicy the spicy level the taste itself and so on okay, so that's uh, so uh, that's all from us um, thank you.